this one's not empty. A telescope? The ladies in grey on Elbreth had a telescope on the roof. They encouraged us to look at Iox through it and dream. Let's see now. Oh! There's no eyepiece! What's the use of that? This looks like it comes free. And there's some inscribed small characters on it. <laughs> it's my eyes to try to read them. They must be very tiny. This is fractured. Okay, so we have... Oh, is this again? Again, your sale. I believe you are correct with again, mistress. I still don't know what that is. How was I thinking when I chose that translation? The robots? I mean, this seems to be the Emperor. I think it's maybe the Empire. So we have the Empire and follow. Now to work out what the other words mean. So... Pray sail something your freedom. Hmm, remember. Let's do this. You're something again. What? Sail within your something again? Place, return, and time. Probably back. Sail back. Friend, holy, time. Who's friend and holy? Sail back your devotion, loyalty? A mother, a parent. Hmm. Pray sail back to your something again. Your mother? A holy friend in time. They're older than you, so time would make sense. Pray sail back to your mother again? Mother doesn't seem quite right. Please sail back your devotion or loyalty, your fruit. Let's do pray sail back to your mother again. But they don't have the to your. Pray sail back to your mother again. What do you make of the telescope, Six? Indeed, most interesting. Why would Janiki take something like this? Probably to triangulate where the thing was. And why did he not search properly and find the crown? It is a recording device, mistress. There is a rubesque foil at its apex. Can you read it back? No, mistress. I have a foil inside me, but there is no common language. But I can guess. Let's see it. If this device is a telescope, perhaps it has been recording the movements of the sky. I 
wonder if we put it on every single... Well, we, it doesn't have a lens, so... We won't be able to use it anyway. Perhaps there was a telescope device in the stand of the roof near Ma Mercy. Perhaps Sneaky took it. That might imply our telescope contains extractable data. Does this one work? I do not believe so, mistress. It seems a lot of the wiring here has been rendered purely decorative by time. Good thing the control downstairs still works. Or will we be stuck in here? It does still work, doesn't it? Statistically, mistress, it will. I still can't go through to the other room. Maybe we can peer into it from the outside. Ramps. Robot operated controls. This site wasn't managed by humans at all. Open the door, Six. Mistress. It would seem the power to this control is not entirely functional. Presumably the system has not been used or maintained in some time. Are you saying we're trapped in here? After a fashion, yes. So, hop us out of here. I am afraid the line of sight required is not available. Maybe I can repair it. Though, I have no idea how it works. Roy would know. Any idea, Six? Six! Where did you go? I mean, he went upstairs, clearly. Oh, did he- is he gonna- <gasps> Six! He jumped? Six! Mistress. That was impressive, Six. Thank you, Mistress. It appeared to solve the problem. <laughs> Escape! I have fixed the lock, Mistress. It will not close again. Let's go around this side to see if there's anything we can... Uh, mistress! What's the matter? I have a result, mistress. Have you finished the calculation? The triangulation of the telescopes, mistress, that Renba found. Assuming they were recording devices transmitting data to each other and to a central source, Assuming they were positioned deliberately to cover a particular sector of the nebula from any angles, while maintaining a line of sight to that central source. Mistress, I believe I have found Renba's observatory. Evidently, it is far further than we have ever been. How far is it to the observatory, Six? Statistically, further than the air tanks of the Nightingale would allow, Mistress. Hmm. So we need a be be bigger blah. A larger expedition, perhaps. Something that we'd have to get from Miari. I hope this isn't Renba's observatory. We already just determined it was. If it is, then I'm definitely missing something. There's nothing here. So what was this place? I suppose it is the right shape to be the serpent's eye. We know it was run by robots. Some kind of recording station. Observing the rivers. The crater itself is most likely a dock. A place for ships to land. 
The low gravity in the crater helped ships to take off from here. We have found one intriguing artifact here, the telescope device. Also, we have learned enough to pinpoint a new location of interest. Remba's Lost Observatory. Like to act activate the hopper now, mistress? I want to get down to the center of the crater first. Now let's find a good spot to slide down. I thought this side was fine. This section of the slope looks intact. No gaps between here and the lower level. I could slide. Until you reach the set bottom, mistress, where there is a sizable hole. Well, there was one on the other side, too, so... Well, well then. I'll float down. You coming? I will follow. On my treads. Here goes. Come on, be safe. By the goddess. Made it. The robot was right. I felt as light as a feather. Like a child. Ooh, there's red earth beneath. The pupil of the serpent's eye. Six, it's warm. Mistress, please. There's something underground. Something powering this. There must be. The gravity really is low. I feel like a child again. But what is it? I cannot tell, mistress. It resembles a well. But I do not believe there is a wellspring anywhere here. Let's see if I can... Evidently, it is most certainly a low-gravity machine. The gravitational force is weakest here. How far do you down do you think it goes, Six? I could not say, mistress. Can you shine a light down there? After a fashion, mistress. <gasps> crystals! It's lined with eye-like crystals. Like the one Remba left on Mercy. Oh, like, that's what he's saying. I see. The same as the crystals on board the crashed ship Remba dug up. Indeed, mistress. Let's see where this goes. Do not move, mistress. If you attempt to annihilate yourself by entering a vertical drop, I will hopper you immediately. And if you are falling, I might only get half of you. Uh, uh, you know what I'm doing. It is abundantly clear that you do not. Step away. All right, all right. Well then, mistress. Your obedience is appreciated. Did you say obedience? I am not obedient. Very good, mistress. So long as you do what I say, I do not mind the verb you use. I 
just want a closer look. We went all the trouble to get this thing open. No, mistress. I will stay right beside you, and I will not change my mind on this matter. Please, let us return to the upper ring level, away from temptation. Oh. You said the gravity effect was localized around that pit, where the crystals are. Yes, mistress. Although, before you conclude that the crystals bend gravitational force lines, mistress, I would remind you that correlation and causation are themselves only correlated. So you think the crystals do bend gravity? They appear to do so, yes. Oh, painted symbols. Painted symbols. Uh, there's a few words on this one. The heart. I can add my translation for heart to my dictionary now. Towards River's heart? Towards the Nebula's heart? Love on River. Wait, so River is this. But then what are the rivers? Multiple? Toward River's heart. Maybe your boy can help explain these crystals. The crystal is not mechanical, mistress, and I would advise caution. Caution? Why? It seems to me that a crystal capable of storing a gravity-manipulating force is potentially a seismic discovery with complex ramifications. It may not be something you wish to give to a Roy. You mean, gravity crystals are something I shouldn't give, give to Elbereth? You're worried about... what? That they'll use them to drive ships through the dead space, and approach Iox without coming in via the river gates. I have no concerns, mistress. I am a robot, after all. But I should think Professor Miyari might. Is it possible? To alter gravity itself? Indeed it is, mistress. In fact, it is necessary. When you said necessary, what did you mean by that? The strength of gravity between two objects is a known quantity, mistress. Evidently, it is based in the separation and masses of those molecule molecules and objects. But most moons in the nebula are thin sheets of rock. They do not have enough mass to exert the gravity that they do. Something within the rock must therefore increase the gravity, but momentum cannot be simply created. Therefore, an increased gravity in one location must be countered by a lessening elsewhere. The crystals, including the ones Remba found in the hatch of that buried ship, they do not reduce gravity, mistress. Rather, they have been induced to contain an absence of it. An absence of gravity? Interesting. And at this point, I can't jump down. It really was just a chute. Full of crystals? Mistress, I do not believe the eyelight in the crater here is natural. I believe the crystals have been set in place. There's no natural eyelight on this moon. No, mistress. It has been brought here at some complexity. The ship near Elbereth must have been carrying crystals from here. 
which proves this was some kind of dock. The dock was large, and the mine below was small. Oh, one big ship could have cleared it out. We can infer that they were distributing crystals to multiple ships. Let's go then. There's nothing more here. Unless you want me to jump down inside that pit. Back to the ship, mistress. I can simply hopper us if you prefer. Let's climb the slope. I may want to go into the observatory again just to see if now that the hatch is open, we can do something with the crystals. Because now that the observatory is open... If you'd stuck the tree on Iox into the middle of this crater, it would have looked like a weed. What do you make of the tile, Six? I have very little information, mistress. Their age is roughly as predicted for this site. Otherwise, I see only one detail of interest. And there was really no... Hmm, looks like we can't use the... the panel again. Is this an eye? It looks eye-shaped in a way. From above, mistress. Yes. Is there anything of interest this way? Nope. We're gonna do the long walk back. Have we learned anything new? It's likely this is the serpent's eye. So the serpent's eye was a port. A place where large ships came to restock, run by robots, and later used for observations in the sky. Shall I use the hopper again, mistress? Let's get out of here. Let's leave the moon. Be ready, mistress. And so we left the surface of the Serpent's Eye docking crater. With newfound knowledge, the location of the observatory Renbo was looking for. Ooh, the observatory! Can't wait. Aboard the Nightingale. Oh, the whole thing with... Go back to Iox, tell Mayari. Make sure she sees the crown. I don't think so. So that was the Serpent's Eye. Some kind of landing bay for ships. Built above a crystal deposit to make takeoff easier. But why land there at all? There's nothing on this moon, apart from the bay itself. Except the crystals. Oh, there's the crown. Definitely the same crystal as inside the hatch in the metal crater. From the roof of the serpent's eye crater. I still don't understand what this thing is. Some kind of robots contraption for robots. 
let's take a good look at our map. So we still had an unexplored ruin. Oh, two unexplored ruins. So we could sail all the way that way. There's still the Withering Palace. The ancient recording inside the goddess figurine spoke of a Withering Palace. Whoever Kai had been, she had been recording there, in this orangery. In addition, Six believes the metal hoop and the graveyard is from there. Not only that, but we've heard curious stories of artifacts in the same place, but what this site might be idea. have to scour the area for more artifacts to uncover the site's location, or I could explore other avenues until I learn more. The Empire site. Oh man, Remba's Lost Observatory could be- This map keeps getting bigger and bigger! We've pinpointed a location in the clouds. This is the great distance of darkness that Remba's ghost had talked about. And we'd find found a wooden fragment from the boat's hull. But without a river to sail on, the journey to the site is impossible. I could look around here and try to pick up more evidence. Or I could wait until I know of something else. Well, I do want to find the Withering Palace. Let's take to the river. I will ready the tackle, mistress. Now let's try to find this palace. The ancient recording. Yep, we already read that bit. It looks like we have to go out and back in again. It looks like it's not allowing me to choose it, though. Serpent's Eye. Will this take me back to the ship? Oh, no. Withering Ways, sailing to the Withering Palace. Okay, and hopefully we'll be able to find more ruins along the way. Oh, there's that ruin that we've already discovered. Just turn left, up ahead, mistress. Looks like I'll have to navigate this one. Ooh, look at those red rocks. So, the rivers. They're implying that they may eventually fade and die. At which point, peoples could be trapped on worlds that are slowly crumbling and capable of leaving. At least without the aid of the crystals. Oh, oh, do, 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 do. Yes, I just barely made it. Ooh, some say the rivers have a source. A single wellspring where they all begin. People love tidy explanations for things. pretty murky. Where are we? Ah, I see. We're cycling back. I hope that someday we'll be able to go back to those points. Oh, did I miss it? Miss turn! Because I just got back off the map. Okay. It is very hazy around here. There we go. Because there's always the potential for more inscriptions. Go right, mistress. I wonder what would have happened if I had jumped into the center of the eye. And 
immediately gotten destroyed by the crystals. There are uncharted rivers to the right. Ooh, well, then that's the way we'll go. But I believe they might lead towards our destination. way works, but which way do I want? There's the long way, or there's the short way. Ooh. Uh, but I wouldn't be able to get to that ruin. Oh, it's probably also something that we've seen. Let's go right if we can. through these icy tunnels again. It almost seems like they're laced with other rocks, though. There are these red rocks. A route goes left momentarily, mistress. I love the string instruments in this section. Cello, violins. Ooh! A little bit dicey over there. these moving at at length at the very least. It's not like an asteroid belt, though it does seem an awful lot like one. It's a good thing you can't scuttle your ship in this game. <laughs> I thought that you'd have to avoid the rocks as you float past them. Ooh, that's a nice flat rock. I wonder what determines what worlds have an atmosphere. Just the presence of vegetation and water? I also haven't seen any evidence of a sun. I believe the Withering Palace should be close at hand. Ooh. Well, yeah, there are those ruins that we never got to investigate that were close to the Serpent's Eye. There's also this. I could go either right or left, or straight, and then get to at least this initial ruin. And then probably another. It's probably not the main site. If there's anything here at all. Oh, if there's anything here at all. We have entered an area of weaker flow than most, mistress. Oh, right, this was the weird twisty turny DNA bit. There's a ruin. What's wrong with the river here? The currents in this region are unusually weak. The rivers here are losing their integrity. Perhaps this is how the Withering Palace was lost. I mean, if it's on the Withering Wake or the Withering Paths, yep. A ruin! I would guess that it dates from the Empire, Mistress. This should only take a few moments, Mistress. I recovered a book. I wonder how long it's been there. It looks like there's some writing on it. This is one end of a blurry fragment of text. So we have this book. Through. I'm certain my translation for book is correct now. Every book has a this book is blank on it. That's a lot of glyphs, but I'm confident it says through. This book... Hmm. It came 
or sat through gates or starlight. Let me see. Buried pilgrim place. It sat through great find of. It sat through fires? It sat through the stars? It sat through starlight? I haven't seen anything here that says star. Find your way along the rivers. That sounds right. Now to work out what the other words mean. Great. What's great? Oh. Through. This book sat through gates, maybe? Does this book sat through gates were? I think this comes from the place we're after. We must be getting close. This should make the exact spot we're currently searching for easier to find. Our additional information has now placed us outside of the search zone, mistress. Ah, let's go see where we need to go. Well, we're gonna loop around and go down and then we're gonna have to take a right to get into this which looks like the destination we're looking for Woo, there we go around the loop who is that a ruin feels good to be back on the a real river again yeah, she says that quite often. Is this where I wanted to go? Yes. There's a path in the water. Ooh, which way do I want to go? Right or left seems to work. We always seem to find a path in the water like someone else has been prior. I didn't think the ship could move through flows this week. But it seems like whoever built the Nightingale knew what they were doing. Oh wow, yeah, it looks like we're floating towards the next destination. Who did build the ship, mistress? I have no idea who built her. Ooh, that's a big rock. The Orange Palace? The Orangery? I suppose she must have been Old Barethian. Is that it? Is that what we're looking for? There is not enough room to land the ship, mistress. I will ready the hopper. 